new Tampa Bay Business Journal hits newsstands today, and editor Alexis Milner is here to talk about the week's big stories. Good morning. Happy Friday. Good to see you, dear. It's great to see you, too. You come with some really interesting news here. Uh, USF is changing a long-standing policy that could boost the national credibility of its medical school. Well, yeah, USF I mean, has long been a very sort of cozy relationship between folks in the medical industry uh, and pharmaceutical companies, and USF is taking it on itself to... to sort of tighten up its conflict of interest policy, and that relates to pharmaceutical companies, medical device firms, biotechnology firms. Uh, what they're trying to do is to, to make sure that the folks in medical personnel disclose and are very transparent about honoraria and the kinds of monies they get from pharmaceutical companies. And the hope is that they'll boost the credibility of the medical school nationally, it'll attract better students, and this is a really good thing. I think transparency in any way, um, you know, understanding sort of these relationships, certainly when it comes to doctors, is a great thing. Mm -hmm. Good news for them because, of course, they just got that $20 million grant as well. They did, and the, the medical school this week, great news, the Marsani family uh, uh, will rename the medical school, and, and there's just really good things that happening with Dean Stephen Clasco over there, uh, trying to really to, to, to usher in a, a, an empathy in terms of medicine and, and thoughtful, thoughtful health care. Concept. So yeah. there, there's some great things happening at USF Health. Next up, Dan was just talking about this, a jaw-dropping project, construction project that a lot of people in the area are talking about. Well, Dr. Kieran Patel, a leading philanthropist in the area who in 1985 started WellCare, sold it off, became a multimillionaire. He and his wife uh, given many millions of dollars to health-related causes in India. And here was planning a 35,000 square foot mansion uh, on, on White Trout Lake. It seemed to be sort of dead in the water, um, but in fact they've been working on this behind the scenes, but now, uh, according to some public records work that we did, have confirmed that they are likely to even break ground on this project. It's a 500 a lot, a foot long pool and a 600 square foot kitchen and a banquet hall to be able to entertain guests. And I think it's good news when you see a project like this that has been sort of vacant, mm -hmm. potentially coming along. I think for, for certainly for the neighbors in that area, probably happy to see some things coming up on that site. All right. And finally, we knew there had to be something wrong with that men's health report that rated St. Pete as the saddest city in America, and you poked some holes in well, that survey. Well, our design and uh, web editor, Pam Huff, uh, wrote a, a piece this week, uh, sort of asking, you know, uh, this was a salon.com report, said so St. Pete the saddest city in America. I mean, this, uh, what's up with that? They based it on antidepressant number, people who take antidepressants and feel blue, but in fact, as we know, antidepressants sometimes aren't necessarily for people who are depressed. It could be for anxiety, for eating disorders, for hormone-related issues. And in fact, uh, when you consider uh, some of the things that are happening in St. Petersburg, uh, divorce rates are down, crime rates are, da are down. It's one, there's a lot of sunshine. It's often claimed to have the most sunshine, but in fact, uh, Yuma, Arizona, Arizona actually has that claim. But it's, it's, uh, there are issues with reports like that, because I think when you think about St. Petersburg, you don't necessarily think about it as the saddest place. Exactly. And, and her piece does a nice job of, uh, of pointing that out. Yeah, we're upset. We want a retraction. Uh, and, and I think that was the goal, to get some dialogue going, because, yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot to feel good about in St. Petersburg. All right, good for you. Uh -huh. Thanks for doing that. Thanks, of The course. Bay Area well, appreciates thanks, you. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. <laughs> and for more Business Journal headlines, go to our website, abcactionnews.com slash business.